Hey guys, I just wanted to share with you some really auspicious news. After years of working closely with BNP Paribas, which is France's largest bank, and helping hundreds of our clients open accounts and obtain mortgages with them, we've officially become partners. So today, BNP and French Connections HCB and HCB Group will be doing joint marketing ventures together. And secondly, for those that are looking to open a bank account whilst they are already or still in, for instance, the USA, Canada, Australia, New Zealand, we can help with opening a high street account with BNP with an international uh, ability. So you'll have an English speaking uh, partner or banking partner and we can manage all of that for you. So we can literally do that before you even arrive in France and make sure that when you arrive, we've even collected your card um, and you've got everything for you to be able to move to France as easily as possible. Of course, we do all of the other things as usual, but I just wanted to share that super exciting news for us as a company. And again, thank uh, BNP uh, for their trust and support over the years. And we're super excited to do loads of new things with them in the future. So watch this space, guys. So why do you need a bank account when you're moving to France? The first thing is, of course, you're gonna need a medical insurance policy to get your visa, if you're applying for a long stay visa and you're wanting to remain in France at the end of that. And often those medical policies will require what we call an IBAN. So instead of having like an account number as such, an IBAN is a specific European banking code, which enables direct debits to be taken from your account. So often it's a bit of a chicken and egg, you can't get a policy until you've got, uh, unfortunately, a bank account. Of course, we can help with that. The other thing is a high street account in France can be really detrimental if you're looking to rent a property. So you're new to the country. In France, there isn't any credit scoring. At least there's internal scoring sometimes with banks but there's no actual Experian or Equifax as we would know in the English speaking world. That's a choice that France made, but in this context, having a confidence with a banking group is really key for many things, notably renting a property. So when you're renting and you're a tenant in France, the landlord wants to see three months worth of your bank statements. I know as silly as it seems, if you give him international statements, he might not really understand what that looks like um, because renting is in high demand all over the Western world at the moment, mainly due to Airbnb being so popular for pr privately rented furnished properties. Well, guess what? They're gonna be pickier on that aspect of who they want to rent. And equally in France, long-term contracts are cancelable by the tenant. So the landlord has no option uh, if you want to leave unless otherwise specified, really the maximum amount of notice will be three months, but typically it's only one month. So what this means is you're renting for your visa application, you take out a 12 month rental contract, after three months you want to leave, well unlike the UK, US, Australia, well you can leave, you can give a month's notice and you're gone. So often the landlord will want to have some security as well on your finances. And there are websites that exist that do guarantor kind of services. I'm not even that convinced that they actually work all of that well, but I can guarantee you one thing that definitely does work is that if you ask a French high street bank to actually lock an amount of rent for 12 months worth of the rental, they can do that in a special kind of fund a little bit like what we have in the United Kingdom or in the US, where that will be actually the tenant agency, the realtor that's managing the tenancy, which will actually lock a security deposit. Well, that's actually possible if you just ask a high street bank in France, and then you can give that document to your landlord, and that's the safest form of showing that you've definitely got the amount of money in the account, and that's gonna be held for him if for any reason you stop paying or you breach your contract. So again, this is gonna be such a key thing uh, that is not available unless you have a, a bank account with a high street bank open. Now, clearly there are going to be points where the bank wants to see that this is a genuine account. They're gonna want a minimum deposit 
and uh, they want us to, of course, adjudicate this through us because, well, guess what? We are obviously helping with other parts of your relocation potentially, and this is gonna make the whole process a lot easier for them and the liaison and the relationship that we have in this case with France's largest bank, BNP Paribas. So if you do want to open a French bank account, you're not yet in France, please feel free to reach out. You can visit our website on the link below. And of course, if you want to consult with me beforehand and build a roadmap of how to move to France, you can do so by booking your personal appointment with me using the link below. And if you have any questions relative to all of this and rentals and opening accounts, please feel free to pop your comments in the comment box below and we'll do our best to get back to you. And of course, we look forward to you liking, subscribing this video and we'll be posting more and more of useful tips like this of how to move to France. Again, folks, thanks for watching.